Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol CFVI for CF acquisition, or just better known as the SPAC merger that will take Rumble public here. So R for Rumble. On the left-hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right-hand side, the 30-minute intraday time frame. First things first, this will, of course, be an update. It's really starting to perk back up here over the past couple of days. I want to start from scratch with a new daily roadmap here. The chart is feeling a little bit cluttered, and what we're going to do is just come back in with the most obvious areas of support and resistance. Then we'll talk more nuance as we drill down to the 30 minute intraday time frame, of course. So that's looking much, much better here, easier to interpret uh, just in terms of where we're at in relationship to big areas. This was big prior support, also resistance for one day in there. And notice how it acted as resistance here. And we finally broke that on today's session. So I would start to classify this as day one of a breakout. Notice that we were just chopping, getting a bit of an ascending triangle, higher lows, equal highs. Day one of the breakout did unfold today. We're looking for follow through to see if we can get it higher. I would start to look out for this in here as well. Can't see it on the 30 minute time frame, but there is a bit of a resistant point here coming from prior support, prior support, then falling off of a cliff on that first initial nosedive earlier on in December. So that's overhead at 1340. Let's take a closer look at the 30 minute intraday time frame again. Here you go. There's that range of consolidation that finally broke into the afternoon here. Um, so we'll see if 1237 does start to act as support on any subsequent retests, if there are any subsequent retest in the first place. In that instance, we would simply have a break retest. If we hold up there for support, look for the next high to be taken out to take us, as we know, to 1340 after that, 1443. To the downside, if we were to fail back down underneath 1237 and do not hold up here as support, then I would watch out for rotation to the bottom end of the consolidation here at 1150, coming from these lows, but also big flush point from in the past as well. So a lot of data surrounding that 1150 area and building the case that it may offer for some sort of support there. So those are the main two scenarios that I would watch out for inside of CFVI, either the break retest and hold for higher or the fake break look above and fail target is as always the bottom end of the range at 1150 quickly coming on over to the trade tab. You're not going to short this thing. There are no shares to short and the put volume here is absolutely pathetic. So you're just going to stand aside and not try to go long. If we get the look above and fail scenario, uh, again, reevaluate the chart if and when we come into 1150, that's going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it today or learned anything new, let me know in the comment section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.